after the stresses of yesterday and all the nightmares on the roads and the flooding and stuff, we were easing ourselves in today with a bit of Phil Collins and against all odds. But maybe it's too late for you. The day has not started well already. So have you sworn yet today when the hammer hits your thumb or you forgot the shopping list again? Is it unseemly to swear, though? Uh, we sweat up a, set up a swear box in the office and, frankly, it was not pretty. It did not take long for it all to go pear-shaped. Well, an MP apologised this week after he was caught swearing in the Commons. He said his own behaviour was unseemly. The Conservative Michael Fabricants, who wants to leave the European Union in the forthcoming referendum, says he was frustrated after hearing fellow Tory Jonathan Jangley talking about the benefits of staying in. Now, I'll just warn you, there is one little naughty word coming up. England and Wales have by far the largest law firms in Europe and provide by far the largest legal services market in Europe, which is 1.5% of UK GDP. So does my right honourable friend not agree with most commercial law firms and the Law Society that up to 1.7 billion of annual legal services output could be lost following a Brexit? Oh, bollocks. Well, after turning the air blue, Mr Fabricant did apologise. Mr Speaker, may I personally apologise to you for inadvertently, perhaps, or through frustration, using a, an eight-letter word beginning with B and ending in CKS when a colleague of mine was raising yet another scare story about what a disaster it would be if we were to leave the European Union. It was unseemly. It was unseemly. Is it always unseemly, then, if you turn the air blue, if you've got a potty mouth? If, like Mr Fabricant, you might want to give up swearing, certainly in the Commons or elsewhere, no more potty talk for you. How easy is it to do? Well, Paul Goddard is a clinical hypnotherapist in Gloucester, and indeed one of the things he's done is to help someone to actually stop swearing. Hello, good morning Hello, to you. Hello, thank you for inviting me. Uh, is this something that you advertise that you could do, or did somebody come and out of the blue say, look, I need help? It's, it's, it's nothing I really advertise, but if anybody wants to be cured of anything or change a habit pattern, then if somebody really wants it to happen for them, then the human mind can achieve it just purely by a little bit of help for myself through hypnotherapy. But it would only really work with something to change that habit pattern if the person really wanted to stop. Now, this lady has booked me before for various workshops and stuff that she's done. So she's got to know, like, and trust me because I've done my own workshops for her. And um, she was finding that she was swearing at inappropriate times. And I knew it was something that she wanted to change herself. So hypnotherapy, you kind of got a gate that you go through and sometimes people can't change those habit patterns. So just purely by my words and the way I spoke to her, I was able to help her and move her from, from that, that hat pattern she wanted to change. So, did she want to give up swearing altogether or just in the wrong moments? It was mainly in the wrong moments, but she wanted to see if she could give it up altogether. I know for a certain amount of time she definitely found that swearing, which was something that she found easy to do, became more offensive to her during that certain time so and that was what you what you intended that was, to, that was to what happen. i was intended to do right well let's bring her in hello good morning samantha hello hello so we've been talking about you let's talk to you so okay. what where was this what stage were you at in your life when you decided that swearing had got too much for you well what what was happening was it was just becoming part of my daily dialogue just and being dropped into every sentence and you know where in my work um it was <laughs> it was kind of inappropriate at times so i needed to control it in my work situations basically um because just to, it'd become a habit it wasn't even you know it wasn't done for impact like some swearing can be done it was just being just done out of habit basically and wanted to shake the habit so were you finding that you were sort of jolting inside yourself at what you were saying or were you seeing reaction from other people reactions from other people i mean i work as um a tarot reader and medium so you can imagine you've got a little old lady sat in front of you <laughs> right <laughs> and my human side kicks in and you know <laughs> so did you want to give up altogether then really i certainly wanted to give up when it's not appropriate and i am still like that now it's brilliant really yeah. so when we heard what paul said he did uh, what how did it sort of come about for you then what what did you get out of it well out of the actual experience yeah. of having it done yeah um, it was quite funny, actually. I look back, I don't know if I've relayed this to Paul. <laughs> I can remember um, coming out of the hypnotherapy state 
and Paul is sat there talking to me about swearing. And I can remember, you know, when you have a conversation going on in your head while you're listening to someone, and I can remember in my head thinking, what is his problem? Why is he obsessed with swearing? <laughs> <laughs> I found it really offensive that, in a way, that he was obsessed with swearing and his conversations with me. It's like, what? why does he keep talking to me about swearing? That's what it was like. So when you then left and got on mm. with normal life and somebody, yes. presumably you heard somebody else swear, yes. what was going on in your mind when you heard that? Um, I just didn't think it, it's not necessary. So it was, it was kind of uncomfortable for you, was it? A little bit, yeah. Which and is good, because it's good to be on the receiving end of that, really, having been the one that was dishing it out for so <laughs> long. <laughs> so do you not swear at all now? I do swear. I'll, I'll say I swear privately, if that makes sense. Right. I swear when I'm in my close circle of friends and things like that. But um, not when, when you didn't want to. Not not working. So it's almost like a button that switches off when yes, you're working. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. So I have an on-off switch. <laughs> And when you, but if you get frustrated then in a work situation, what do you do now instead to sort of clear that, you know, purge yourself? <laughs> I put in, I use other words and I put in, I put in, I, I joke and call them my bleepers. I use alternative words because part of the training that Paul instilled is that you, you bring in a different dialogue. You use different words. All right, we'll take a break now. We'll uh, hear some more then from Paul and from Samantha in a moment. What do you think? Um, is swearing not only part of your daily life, but actually a great way to get rid of the stresses and strains? Or would you like to give up swearing, given the opportunity? Do you reckon you could? It's America, Adventure or Highway. Chewing on a piece of grass, walking down the road. America and Ventura Highway. So we're discussing swearing today. It was after the uh, an MP had to apologise this week after he was caught swearing in the Commons, saying his behaviour was unseemly. Um, and it made me wonder that you know, are, are there times in your life when you would really say, "I just don't want to swear, but I find myself doing it anyway," or are you around people where you're frankly offended by the language, but you don't know sort of where to start with this one? If you had the opportunity to stop swearing. Wearing, would you do it? Uh, would you go for that and go through it? Maybe you've tried. How did that work out for you? We'll be discussing that further now. On the M5, on DAB Digital Radio, and 104.7 FM, this, this is BBC Radio Gloucestershire. Uh, so talking then to Paul Goddard, who is a hypnotherapist in Gloucester, and uh, we'll bring you back in then. Hello. And uh, also then to Samantha, who in fact was cured effectively of, of, of swearing in inappropriate times. Um, so Paul, just explain then, because you had to think about this in a particular way, because actually, as Samantha said there, there were times in private life when she did want to be able to let rip if she needed to. I think that was the main thing we were discussing, but she wanted to break the habit of swearing as as you said and we just heard in front of a lady who was coming for a, a reading for her so i mean the way i thought about doing it when i have a client i have no idea what i'm going to do to them when when they come in but my idea was first of all to get her to over swear at times where it becomes uncomfortable and she becomes more aware of the habit of it but in the end i decided to actually whilst i was in front of her having the the consultation having the pre-hypnosis to swear as much as I can and talk about being uncomfortable and it's not usually when I have a hypnotherapy session that I start swearing in front of somebody <laughs> yes. but that she could see that I was uncomfortable doing that and that would kind of then lead on to her feeling uncomfortable at a swearing at inappropriate times and yeah. then I went into the hypnosis session adding more and, and putting more suggestions in that you know when it's appropriate to swear when it's not appropriate to swear. And was that one session or does it It was just one, one session. session. Yeah. And how quickly after Samantha coming back to you then did you find gosh i feel so different now straight away it was literally straight away because i went straight from that appointment to work an event um we're doing private work for clients and i literally was quite not stumbling with my words but i was having this momentary pause it's quite amusing to watch me really i'm never short for words normally <laughs> but i was having, having a momentary pause where I, I couldn't get words out of my mouth 
because my brain was trying to find an alternative. Yes, I think that night I looked like I had a stutter <laughs> or something similar, you know, like a block. <laughs> yeah, but it very quickly, it, yeah. it, yes, it, it kicked in almost immediately. Here's the thing, though, Paul, that surely it's good for your health in some instances. I mean, uh, to just get it out in whatever way works for you. Maybe it's hitting a desk, but for some people, or for quite a lot of people, it's swearing. It certainly is, and I think just to relieve a bit of tension, swearing can be appropriate if it's done in the appropriate time, and it helps to relieve. I mean, there's been great research done that actually swearing will help somebody if they're in pain and discomfort. Like, I went to a talk once, and a lady, she was actually caught on Helicopter Heroes, and she was a hypnotherapist and a NLP master practitioner, and um, she, she broke a leg in quite a horrible way, and when the doctor doctors came to her and, and the helicopter had arrived, they asked, well, how, at one to ten, and you could actually tell by on the TV, it looked really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a nine. And she just said that, you know, she was a three, and she put that down purely that when nobody was there, she was just swearing, but in a very much sort of like a, a, a almost a mantra type way, just saying every single swear which she could think of <laughs> over and over again, and it, it distracted her from it, and it was a relief to her at the time, so by the time the, the paramedics and everybody arrived, that she wasn't in as much discomfort, and she was a lot more in control of the situation purely by swearing. So, in, at the right times, it, it can be a good thing to do. Okay, uh, Samantha, has it changed your life? Um, yes, I don't shock people as much, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Nice to meet you both. Thank you very much to Samantha and to Paul Goddard, then, the hypnotherapist from Gloucester. Oh, girls. Have you tried to give up swearing? Has it gone for you? Come on.